So I am in San Francisco um, basically to receive the Turner Visionary grant from GLAD. It is day three. Um, I've woken up early as I usually do and I'm doing some writing. I got to work on a Teen Vogue article. I got to work on one or two articles and I'm going to make some coffee and I'm going to try and get some work done because I'm meeting a friend in about an hour and a half, someone that I worked with in Seattle when I worked for a labor union there. And I'm just really excited for today because later on is the glad um gala here in san francisco and i got my outfit ready i'm gonna take you through my whole day and it's gonna be really fun because i've had a blast the last few days and it's been challenging and it's been cool and i've been meeting so many inspiring young activists organizers people that just like get the shit done which is exactly what we're trying to do here on two oak minds so gonna brew up some coffee and get to some writing I actually really like this neighborhood a lot. It kind of reminds me of Capitol Hill in Seattle, but um, it's sunny, it's a beautiful day, and we're gonna buy some clothes. I'm trying to maybe find something else to spice up my outfit for this gala later. And I want to introduce you to someone. Hello! This is Emily. We worked together in Seattle two years ago. Can you believe that was two years ago? So it just seems like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was when we got fired from <laughs> our union job that we won't mention the name of because we signed a non-disclosure agreement. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a part of the severance, but we're going to go thrifting. We're currently in Ashbury t-shirts which has been around I think in this neighborhood since the 90s and I am loving this whole entire shop right now because there's so many options so many Bob Marley t-shirts Jimi Hendrix John Lennon like whew. so I don't know if I'm gonna get a t-shirt now but this might be a spot to come back to before I have to head back to the hotel see anything you like I think I like this one. Surfrust store right here behind me, and I think I'm gonna check it out. There are a lot of dream catchers, um, just really anything for anyone who's like spiritually minded and wants to meditate, and I would totally get something here. Maybe sage because I experienced a lot of smudging with sage in Standing Rock, but um, there's an anarchist bookstore that I want to go to, so I might check out there and buy something there because you, you know me, I love my radical books. So I think we're leaving um, Upper Hate pretty soon. Uh, I loved, love, love, loved this street. I mean, what, what were some of your favorite stores you went to? Oh my gosh, the um, House of Ganesha was really nice, mm -hmm. and then they have really good like cafes here. I like all the individuality they put into every little store that they have. Yeah. And the small businesses. I really like that aspect of San Francisco. So yeah, if you're definitely coming to Upper Haight, um, check out the vintage and thrift shops here. There's a really good army surplus store that we went to. The Goodwill here is cheaper than a lot of the other places and they still have some good options. The Wasteland is a good spot if you're looking for some really unique, sort of more high-end pieces but um, they're also gonna be cheaper than you might find in the stores that those brands are actually from. And there's also some really cool restaurants here. And um, I think we're gonna head back to the hotel soon because we have the gala later and I really need to get ready and just make sure I'm prepared. So we're about to head back to the hotel and get ready. Hello everyone, welcome to San Francisco. <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm nervous, and I really want some food. Do you think this do you think this vest works though? I think it's a match, but it goes with it. But it doesn't it doesn't not match. What do I fix the shirt? I'm going to the Glad Gala and I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous! 
but I can do this. And I think you know I can do this. And I know I can do this. So let's do it. Thank you. Wow. So we have Google, YouTube, PayPal, that girl's code. But think about a different time. None of that. Hey, my, and And I'm going to give you a little preview of that. Because a lot of times I'm told, I'll tell people what we're working on. They're saying, I didn't know what I was doing. This boy does exist. The boy who talks about the pool his family doesn't have and wears the shoes his mother can't afford. So I'm leaving San Francisco and oh, like once again, um, while traveling, I really realized that I've only been here for a week, um, but I've also like, I've literally lived like a mini lifetime here. I've met so many amazing people. There actually is a chance for me to build the kind of platform that um, Eli and I want with Two Oak Minds, which is really about fighting for representation and fighting to be in spaces where we know that if we enter consciously and if we document well enough that um, we can actually help expose things that need to be exposed and I definitely had a lot of uncomfortable moments and I think the other thing I've realized is that it's been nice to meet so many queer and gay people that I don't know, were uncompromising in the way that they like dealt with coming out because I feel like I've fought to do that in a lot of ways, but also with my family it's very difficult because, I don't know, with my parents especially, it's like, if I'm visible, then that is a case for them to deny it and to encourage me to not have it be a part of their life. And being here, I realize that there are spaces for me to be visible, to be happy, to date, to find romance, because so much of my life in Ohio and other places is just like going to parties and watching straight people hook up and watching people just kind of get to experience the things that I'm always kind of waiting to experience, like a serious relationship. Really, um, even last night I had conversations with this gay couple and they live in the Castro and we talked about politics and like religion and spirituality and culture and I realized like this is totally possible for me. Like, I don't have to be in spaces where I feel like I have to hide. Because I feel like wherever I go, really, there's always something, some part of me that I'm encouraged to hide for my own safety. So I'm really just grateful to have this trip, and I'm going to do a vlog where I maybe talk about the pros and cons of moving here, and which might be a part of a lot of what I'm talking about now, but I kind of wanted another space to kind of engage with that. But goodbye, SF for now. See you later. We go from here. What else could they possibly do to us? The horse uh, looked pretty and white and I hope it's not uh, fatigued right now. I think